वेलकम बैक अगेन सो नौ वि आर् मूविंग ऑन टू अवर नेक्स्ट टाइप नेक्स्ट ग्रूप सो वि फिनिश्ड अवर दि मेबर्स ऑफ द फैमिली क्लोर ऑफ ऐसी ए नौ वि आर् मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्लास सांतो फैसी एंड सांतो फैसी एंड मेबर वौचीरिया ओके सो द टाइप वौचीरिया बिलोंग्स टू सांतो फैसी ए हेटरोसैफोणल एंड वौचीरियसी ओके so where you can see voucheria this species is usually occurring in damp soils or fresh water okay and thallus of this species contains green cylindrical or tubular structures thallus is green cylindrical and tubular and they are attached to substratum by a hold fast called as haptera or rhizoids so rhizoids or haptera are the structures so like this i will draw the diagram so look upon here so uh, this rhizoids so this it's uh, it, it is like this uh, its filament is like this highly branched and the basal portion you can see structure like this and this is known as what our haptera okay this is the haptera or uh, colorless rhizoids understood and aerial filaments are irregular this is a irregular branch okay so this is an identifying feature of this member voucheria an irregularly branched structure and basal attached by uh, substratum by hold fast okay so this is the cell of this uh, voucheria protoplasm with numerous nuclei present so the numerous nuclei is present though this condition is known as xenocytic question may be usually asked what is xenocytic condition having cell with a numerous uh, nuclei okay and filaments are non septate no septa freely occurring filaments you know what is septa so if it is a filament having a structure like this separations this is what septate but here in voucheria the filament is like this free but with what but with numerous nuclei this is the condition of numerous nuclei so what is this condition called xeno cytic condition understood okay so entire length of the thallus that is xeno cytic full branch is xeno cytic and this thallus is also known as siphonaceous the term you can see here this thallus is also known as uh, siphonaceous in nature see i will show you uh, how the siphonaceous nature uh this is a siphonaceous condition uh, siphons are present what is siphons long branches irregular branches okay then cell wall is very thin and cellulas and uh, pectin outer wall is pectin containing a pigment pigments are the typical pigment is xanthophyll typical pigment is what xanthophyll you have to remember that term there is xanthophyce a from xanthophyll chlorophyll a chlorophyll e are also present a typical pigment is xanthophyll now reserve food we already studied food material are stored in pyrenoids but here pyrenoids are absent very important point pyrenoids are absent food materials are oil drops not a starch that's also very important food material are oil drops not starch and it lacks a pyrenoids then there is another peculiar feature is a large central vacuole present entire the cell central vacuole present okay then large central vacuole surrounding it protoplasm and protoplasm contains what chloroplast also okay now this is a structure of this voucheria filament see this is what we can call it as branched siphons okay multi nucleate what is in the white color at the center see that is a vacuole elongated structure vacuole all over the filament and uh, apart just uh, outside this vacuole what is in the dark color region is the numerous nuclei and chloroplast okay this is a central vacuole see a cross section section like this uh, so at this cross section means when you cut open here so you can see circular outline with a central uh, vacuole then surrounded by chromatophores hmm? colored pigments the cytoplasm and everything okay now reproduction so reproduction is vegetative asexual and sexual what are the three types vegetative asexual and sexual 
Vegetative is by fragmentation. So breaking the entire thalus, break into small pieces hmm, by maybe injury or by insect bite, etc. Then uh, separation, septum develops in the break uh, the broken portions and they develop into new thalus. And second type is asexual reproduction. First one is zoospore. So asexual reproduction is by means of different methods. First method is zoospores. What is a zoospore? Zoospore, you know, that is a motile spore. We studied already. But there are some special cases here. Here, zoospores are produced in an elongated structure, and that structure is known as what? Zoosporangium. Zoospore produced in zoosporangium. Okay. And zoosporangium is developed by a club shaped swellings. Now, large number of nuclei and chloroplasts move into the zoosporangium. Okay. And inside zoosporangium, a vacuole, uh, the vacuole of the zoosporangium that decreases, content become dense and round off. Okay. An elongated structure zoosporangium, large number of protoplasm forms, vacuoles reduces and contents modified and rounded off and that become, uh, become the spores. And uh, there is a one important event taking place. The nuclei move into peripheral side and chloroplast move into inner side clear so from in the filament nuclei move into peripheral side see example if it is the filament uh, imagine here there are uh, chloroplast and here at the center there are nucleus so what happens is this nucleus uh, chloroplast move into here and this nucleus move into Outside, okay. Now, see, uh, zoosporangia form at the end of branches. They are separated by septum. So at the tip, zoosporangia is produced. That is separated by septum, and in their protoplasm uh, contracts to form a zoospore, oval zoospore. And this oval zoospore is actually that is a large zoospore, and uh, you know now uh, the nucleus is on the peripheral side, okay. So, from each nucleus, two flagella develops. So, a multi-flagellate structure develops. And this multi-flagellate structure or this kind of zoospore is known as compound zoospore or syn zoospore. I will show you the diagrams. Compound zoospore or syn zoospore. It is very important because it is a multi-flagellate zoospore. So, zoospores liberate out. I will show you the picture. It swims in water, undergo rust and attaches to substratum secrete a wall. Then what happens is reverse process take place. Chromatophore move towards the outside and nuclei move towards the inside. Then tube like structure develop and germination into new structure. This is the cell. What happens is see apical cell, the tip of the cell become zoosporangia and the remaining part it is separated by a septum. Clear? Okay. Now what happens here is Nucleus move to this side and chloroplast uh, chromatophore move to center. Okay. Then at each nucleus, what happens if it is a nucleus? Two flagella. If it is a nucleus, two flagella. From each nucleus, two flagella develops. Okay. So likewise, large number of flagella develops. Now, uh, gelatinization, wall dissolves. And this entire structure, this inside a complete protoplast contracted and form a zoospore. That zoospore is known as a syn zoospore or compound zoospore because it is multi-flagellated structure. It liberated out and this is a structure, chromatophore at the center and nucleus at the periphery and flagella formed. I hope you understood well. Okay. Now. So, this is the developmental stages. This is the first filament, then separation, cross wall. This act as zoosporangium separated from remaining cell by cross wall. Then uh, contents metamorphosed into zoospore. Zoospore liberate out. And what happens is uh, zoospores uh, undergo rust. Uh, its uh, central vacuoles, chromatophore, everything uh, become changed and germination into new filaments. Now, next type is aplanospore. So, first one is zoospore, second one is aplanospore. It is a non motile spore produced in aplanosporangia. They are produced singly at the terminal end of the filament. 
protoplasm of aplanosporangium metamorphosed into multinucleic aplanospore. They are non motile, so no flagella. This is the aplanosporangium, tip of the branch, separated from the remaining by septum. It becomes aplanospores, produce aplanospore, liberated and germinated into a new filament. Now, next type is uh, akinets. So, what is an akinets? Akinets are uh, the branched filaments produces row of short segments. This is a branched filament. It produces segments like this, row of segments. Segments are multinucleate. All of them are multinucleate. They produce thick wall and act as a cyst. And the structure is hypenospore. So, segments act as a cyst or hypenospore. And at this stage, this uh, look like an alga namely gongrosira. So, this is the case that the uh, branches having number of segments. Segments are known as cyst. And this condition, this stage is look like an alga. That name of the alga is gongrosira. So, this is also known as gongrosira stage. Question may be asked what is gongrosira stage. Chain of akinets formed look like an alga. Okay, it germinate. Now, next is reproduction. Reproduction is by antheridia and ugonia. Antheridia and ugonia are produced in same filament or on side branches. And uh, they are born on adjacent branches. This is the antheridia uh, and ugonia side by side. So, that is known as what? Sexual reproduction. Okay. So, in sexual reproduction, what happens? Antheridia and ugonia develops. Male part is Andridia, female is Ugonia and reproduction is Ugamus. Uh, they are sex organs are sessile or stalked. This is the Ugonia and this is the Andridia. Formed side by side. Uh, different uh, position it may. It may be on close to each other on the filament or it may be on special side branches or born on adjacent branches or any way you can see. Now uh, also on the uh, other filament. See, uh, this is the structure, different organization. This is Ugonium, this is Andridium. In the same filament, side by side. Okay, here same filament, but a, two branches are there. This is also side by side. This is number of uh, Ugonia and Andridia in branches. Different types it may occur. Now, next is Andridia. So, Andridia are green in color. They are curved or they may be sometimes colorless. Numerous nuclei present. It produces spindle shaped anthrozoids. Spindle shaped anthrozoids. They are liberated by opening. They are spindle shaped, they are pear shaped, or you can have with unequal flagella. One flagella towards the front, that is tinsel flagella. Another flagella towards back, that is whiplash flagella. Now, Ugonia. Ugonia means uh, uh, by st development start with accumulation of multinucleate cytoplasm in a particular region and that region is known as wanderplasm accumulated protoplasm okay it is ugonium is spherical with a small stalk okay a beak like structure also present at its apex protoplasm round off into egg or ovum see this is the anthridia and ugonia i will show you this is the anthridial branch how ugonium develop near to anthridial branch number of uh, protoplasm accumulate that is wanderplasm. But enlarged structure like this. Now it enlarges and that is the ugonium. And this is the andridium. Then tip separated by septum. Now this function as the andridium. Here also separated by septum. This function as the ugonium. So this andridium bend down and touches the ugonium. Clear? So ugonium having a beak. Very cocoa structure. And Andridium touches here, dissolution takes place, wall dissolves. Number of androzoids or sperm here discharges into this. It is like a discharge in sperm. Okay. Fertilization takes place and zygote is developed. This is the structure. Now, fertilization that I already told you, beak of the uh, uh, ugonium dissolves and sperms enter into it. Then after formation, uh, it produces zygote formed. It forms a thick wall that is oospore. Uh, and uh, it undergoes germination. First division is meiotic division. During favorable condition, ugonial wall disintegrates. And oospores liberate. Germinated into few filaments. 
Phosphor liberated and germinate into new filaments. Okay. So, this is a life cycle. Uh, this is the Vaucheria filament. Uh, from this, Suspore formation takes place. Suspores uh, undergo rest germination into Vaucheria filament. Another one, Ugonia and Andridia. Fertilization uh, develop an Uspore into new Vaucheria. So, uh, this is the life cycle of Vaucheria. So, Vaucheria is very important. Belongs to Sandophysia, Yellow Green Algae, Pigment Sandophil. Siphonaceous thallus, xenocytic multinucleate with chromatophores. Uh, then reproduction asexually is by zoospore. Zoospore is zin zoospore or compound because multiflagellate structure. Um, and uh, sexual reproduction is ugamus, andridia and ugonia. Same filament or on branches or on different. Andridia produces androsoids. Then ugonia produces egg or ovum. Andro, andridia bent and it touches ugonia. Ugonia having a beak. Then androsoids liberated inside this. Then ugonia uh, fertilization takes place. Develop into zygote. That produces a thick void oospore. Then it germinates. Meiotic division takes place. And new filaments are produced. That's all about uh, vaucheria. Belongs to the class Sandophysia. You have to remember this. Only one member you have to study coming under Sandophysia. Okay, I hope you understood well. Thank you.